Oh my god, something hatched. Emily. Yes. You just spray in the air. I'm seeing how far it'll reach. Whoa, uh, it goes way far now. Yeah, I guess it goes way across the room. Look, 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 look what hatched. <gasps> no way. Don't don't show it yet. Oh, did one of these hatch? Yeah, look. Oh. Okay, I think we need to do a video about all the animals we haven't shown that we've hatched in this building. He's so cute. Isn't he? We'll show him very last. Alright, so who's first? Who's the first animal that we did not show for In a video? various reasons? Yeah, so sometimes clutches are one egg clutches, or only one baby hatches, or you know, there's just not enough to make a video about them. So some of the animals, some of the babies just don't get shown on the channel as a result. So today we're gonna show you all of those to kind of fill in those gaps, I guess. It's also 11 o'clock at night, so that's why those lights aren't on. Yes. They're all asleep, but yeah. that's okay. First one is gonna be one that you've seen as an egg several times in videos, but it has finally hatched the last tricolor hognose from last breeding season. It is, I'm gonna cheat. Box Hang of on. dirt. Oh, yeah, there he is. There he is. All right, let's see. Now that I know where you're hiding. Come here, little tricolor. This guy was the only good- Oh, I good... saw a little tail buzz. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> it's the only good egg in her last clutch, but she had, what, four clutches? So it makes so. sense, yeah. yeah. Like some ridiculous amount. Yeah, here he is, the last baby tricolor of 2022, rattling his tail. He actually hatched in 2023, but we're still yeah. counting him as a 2022 baby. His clutch baby. was 2022. Yeah, exactly. And this one has kind of that every other checkerboardy oh, type pattern. Look at that little tail going Don't, down. Oh, you so angry. I mean, he's actually a pretty good sized little hatchling. He hasn't had his first meal yet. He just hatched actually a few days ago while we were at the Arlington show. But even though he's a good size, I mean, he's nothing compared to some of these other babies that we hatched earlier. Here's one of the babies from the clutch that hatched before him. So this is from the third clutch then. And there's already a noticeable oh size gosh. difference. Yeah. Like, I'm tiny. Oh Run my gosh. Away. Oh my gosh. It's your sibling, just older sibling. Look, meet each other, love each other. You're so cute together. Yeah, yeah his is more like a uh, symmetrical pattern. It is, isn't it? Yeah. And his is not symmetrical at all. And we actually have, uh, we are holding back a pair from the first clutch too. So let's check those out. Here is a baby from the first clutch that hatched. And this is the baby that just hatched. This is from clutch number four from the mom. So oh, he's even bigger. We had four clutches. We did. The first one. And this one, is from the first clutch? This is from the first clutch that hatched. The first clutch went bad because oh, they were her right. first eggs. Okay. So this is from her second clutch of eggs, which was the first one to hatch. And then I just showed you the baby from the third clutch. And this baby is from the fourth and single baby clutch. They so, grow so fast. It's insane how fast this species grows. Yeah. I feel like this species is like a house fly. Get oh, in, just, get big, yeah. breed, die. Yeah, pretty much. That's <laughs> really the life of a tricolor hognose. Mom is still doing great though, by the way. Yep. So hopefully we have her for another breeding sure season. Dad is still trying to breed with himself. Probably. He always yep. does. But yeah, here is the first baby uh, of today's video that wasn't shown in its own video. The next babies in this video haven't actually hatched yet even. These are some uh, false chameleon eggs and we already did a video with a baby false chameleon and she is doing great. So we probably won't do another one so soon with more baby false chameleons, but we have more eggs. They look good. That moss is a little wetter than I want it to be. I think we have figured it out in that they have to incubate in drier habitats. So I think I'm gonna swap out that moss for some dry moss, but yeah, we have more false chameleon eggs. And um, speaking of eggs, we have one more egg, right? We have one more egg, a very exciting egg actually. A species we had never bred before has laid an yeah. egg out here. And it's out in the zoo, like yes. all the other things that uh, breathe are. Yeah, it seems like it. Let's see, it's in this island because it's the only island that's lit up right now. Yep. Oh good, he has, uh, yeah, he hasn't moved much. I added a speech bubble yesterday and he's sticking around the speech bubble. Can uh -huh. you find our egg? Can you find it? Do you see it? We'll pan the enclosure. You try to find the egg. I'll just, I'll just, okay, I'll start over here and we'll get closer. Okay, insert Jeopardy music, except we can't because then it'll get demonetized. Do, 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 do. Yeah, do it do, out of tune. Do, do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can do that really well. <laughs> do, 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 do. Did you see it? Uh, it's been on camera a couple times. Okay, well, if you haven't seen it yet, here it is Mossy Leaf Tailed Gecko Egg! Look at that! Just plopped it right on the branch. Yep. So, branch? Or leaf. There leaf. you go. It's late, sorry. Yes. So yeah, here's the male. The female is actually in the back. You can see her from my position here. Yeah, she likes to hang out back there. Yeah, she hides quite a bit. The male loves to show off. He likes to show off his uh, manly his manhood right, yes. right here. It's like, look at them. Yeah, <laughs> love them. 
They laid another egg on that stick, but it like fell off, and then the isopods just devoured yeah, it. That, so that thing that looks like poop is not actually poop. Yeah, it's, it was an egg. <laughs> it was an egg at one time. Interesting though. I thought they like other geckos laid their eggs in pairs. I guess not. But so far, I've just seen two singular eggs. Maybe because they need to glue them to something, they don't lay them in pairs. Maybe, yeah. We're know. not too familiar with this species in particular, so never bred them before. We just have the pair together, and they've decided to breed. So yeah. that'll be hopefully exciting. that was a good spot. For for the egg and hopefully it'll come full term. Yeah. What are you doing? Trying to find tokay gecko eggs, but I don't see any okay. of those yet. I mean, I would guess there's gonna be tokay eggs in there. Look, there's a tokay mouth. Oh. It's right there. That's a dangerous end. Yeah, put your finger right there. I'm good, thank you though. <laughs> there's a brown egg right oh. there. Is that an egg? <laughs> I don't think that's quite an egg. Oh, well, speaking of that baby false chameleon, there she is, if I can get a good focus on it. She's there she is. She's a lot bigger. Aw, oh, hi cutie. You're not looking at me. You look like you have a screwed up eye, but you don't. You're just looking the wrong way. Next babies are baby garter snakes that were born in the zoo. And we've done so many baby garter snake videos, we just decided not to <laughs> film this litter clutter. Uh, the normal colored ones down here were actually surrendered to our adoption program at about okay. the same time. So they're just all kind of buddies. Uh, not the same time. Those were surrendered later. I'm sorry. These are a little bit older. But here are wow. the garter babies Aww. that were surrendered. And there's one normal colored one in there too that was also born in our zoo. Just a different species. So we kind of have just all the garter ba babies together because they get along really well and they yeah. eat better when they're together. So the more the merrier, why not? We'll just put them all in the same enclosure. So what all did we breed here? We produced some normal checkers, some plains, and some albino checkers. Can okay. you come here, albinos? So that albino checker you just poked and disappeared from this side is yeah. one of our babies? Yes, that is one of our babies. Oh, now they're on the other end, ah. of course. Hi, so guys. that's the baby of snake discovery. Yeah, oh, are you going to come out now? Aw, look at the white tip on his tongue. Aww. It's so cute. I just love the albinos. Yeah. They have such a pretty stripe down their back and it's an adventure finding babies in the exhibit oh. in the zoo. I'm sure some have just escaped behind the paneling and we we'll, won't Probably. see them and then they'll come out as adults. It took a while to find all the babies because they found a way to get behind their rock and we can't reach behind there so we had to wait till they decided to all come yeah. out. In addition I think mom gave birth behind one of the rocks themselves cool. so the babies just had to come out on their own. But now we have we're pretty sure all the babies I mean, they're a couple months old now. They're pretty big. And they are gorgeous. Yeah, I was going to say, those are monsters. Yeah, they've been growing really, really well. They're eating worms and chicken hearts and tilapia. All sorts of things people. for us. And people. They're actually pretty socialized, too. I mean, this one just came right on oh. out. So they've definitely gotten used to people. Oh, it's Emily with snake discovery. <laughs> uh -huh, I'm sure that's what he's thinking. <laughs> Can you look in the tube and see the others? I see a butt of one. Yeah, there's a butt. Okay. Well, there's like four more in the cork. Oh, okay. This Is guy? there any under here? I think so. I think there's one. <laughs> oh yeah, there's more. There's some more baby garters. <laughs> just, just. These, are, these, these normals are really pretty. Aren't they? Yeah, those are the ones surrendered to Adoption Island. They all are getting along. Oh, except they're not as socialized. Go back in. Yeah. Go back in. Oh gosh. There you oh, go. Oh no, he's a water oh, snake. No. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna put these guys back. But yeah, lots of albino checkers. We've sold some of them already, but oh, he's coming out too. Oh. But. Yeah, just he's got scales on his head. Oh, he's... dude, did you not shed the scales on your head? Can I, can I, can I get that? Oh, okay, nope. never mind. <laughs> Jeez, I like this one. Yeah, he's that just was out. really cute. Yeah, just wants to say hi and meet everybody. You that are one's super name cute. Is Tom? <laughs> this is Tom. Yeah. Okay, I might have to get some pictures for uh, of him. All right, next up are some bugs. Assassin bugs, to be specific. We are regu regularly breeding assassin bugs here in the zoo. It's crazy, if you keep assassin bugs together and feed them a lot, they breed. They just breed, yeah. yeah. So we have a couple different like ages here. This one's actually a bit older than the other ones we have. When they first hatch from their weird elongated eggs, they kind of hatch out like a, an orange color. Let's see, I think this one is pretty young yet. Here we go, here's a newborn. Oh, yep. Isn't that weird? Just a strange species. Let him get to your finger. No, I'd rather not hold this little dude. Well, I mean, I guess he has a tiny little proboscis. What could he do? So what the, the assassin bugs do is they literally assassinate their prey by stabbing them with their proboscis. And I can't remember if they okay. inject him. Nerd. What's Sorry. a proboscis? Oh, it's the uh, attachment uh, to the face of a lot of insects. Like the long tongue-like thing that moths and butterflies okay. drink from. That's a proboscis. Okay. And uh, on assassin bugs, their proboscis takes the form of an impaling weapon that nice. they use to kill their prey. 
So yeah, kind of cool. It's hard to see on a little juvenile here, but that's what they start out as, is this little red color. Okay. And then after they molt a couple times, they turn into this. Got some nice black coloration, little yellow legs. I'm not gonna let you hold, or I'm not gonna hold you. <laughs> yep, you might actually be able to do, eh, probably couldn't do too much damage. But when they become an adult, then they can do some real damage. So these are full grown adult assassin bugs. We have the twin spot variety. So when they uh, have their final molt, they get a pair of white spots on their wings and then you know they're an adult, but that's when the proboscis is large enough to really hurt. You can kind of see the proboscis on this one right here on the underside of this cork bark, that shiny bit that curves backwards underneath his head. That's it, that's his impaling weapon of choice. Do they inject their victims with venom? Uh, yeah, in a way they do. They will take their um, rostrum, their proboscis, and they stab the prey and then inject it with a lethal saliva that essentially liquefies the insides of their prey. And then they just kind of suck it all out. Hmm. It's pretty metal, yeah. So what you're saying is that's not a very lucky cricket right there. No, he, he his end is near. Yeah, and he's gonna be eaten by that. Yeah, and these guys, they have a lifespan of like six to 10 months. So actually I think, I think these individuals are over a year old, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, I think they, how we are got these? them when the zoo was open. Yeah, how are so. they still alive? Oh my gosh, I just realized how old they are. I mean, they're doing great, but maybe we should hold back those babies and raise them up so we yeah. have replacements for them. We have a lot, so. We do, and they keep breeding, so that's good. We'll just collect some babies, hold them back. You can house babies in there, but there's a good chance they're gonna get eaten by the adults, so you typically wanna separate them until they're a good size. I mean, we don't really know. These might be some of the babies, too. You know, I did at one point see a couple that were slightly smaller and didn't have spots, so I think a couple babies did actually make it. Huh. So maybe, maybe that that's why they are still alive. Okay, we'll go with that. Oh, uh, look, our millipedes are doing well. Yeah, since we're the... filming so late, they're actually out. Yeah, the, they were eating that yeah. sweet potato, but then we turned the lights on, so they don't want to be out. But we also have the, the pink dragon Yeah, all millipedes. the millipedes are doing really well, actually. Yeah. Cool, and speaking of inverts, since we're over here anyway, and speaking of babies, this will come as no surprise, but oh. our stick insects are also breeding. What? I know, it's hard, hard to believe. How did you get those to breed? It was really difficult. Well, I think we're on generation seven now. That's I don't, crazy. I don't even know. They breed just, it's so staggered now. We have adults, we have all life stages yeah. right now. Like, oh my gosh, they're everywhere. Yeah, yeah, they are everywhere. There's more stick walk, there's more alive sticks than dead sticks yeah. in there now. Honestly, we, we can't sell them fast enough. Like, if you need walking sticks, guys, yeah. come in and buy some. We'll you take live them in straight, Minnesota. Straight from the zoo exhibit. I like, need walking sticks. We have too many. Yes. Too many living sticks. Too many sticks on the dance floor. Too many sticks. And the last species we are going to cover in today's video will That's be- what's in there. Is what's in here, which is super cute. We're gonna open this after explaining kind of what's going on here. And you're gonna love what's in here. He's so- He's adorable. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Yeah. Okay, so behind me we have some Madagascar giant day geckos. Yes. This was originally when the zoo opened in Abronia habitat. We had a pair of Abronia in here and they just weren't doing well. Well, they just didn't like the zoo. They were very shy. Yeah, they were they were eating, they were thriving, but they just, just didn't like people. And the female actually belongs now to Tyler and Maddie. You know, the, the contestants from our build off, they have their own channels. They did the graveyard theme enclosure last year. They have one of our Abronia now, which is kind of cool. She went to a couple homes before reaching them. Yeah, but, um, unfortunately. But yeah, but anyway, they have her, uh, and we have switched this over to a giant day gecko enclosure. Yep. And they so are we doing- have a big chunky male right there. Yes. And he... his harem of women. Exactly, I think there's four in here currently. One yeah. is a newer rescue that yep. has a regenerated tail. I'm curious on if the tail is going to turn green after a while. I think it will, because it, start, it started red. Yeah. And now it's turning into like a brown slash, you can see slightly green scales on the side. Yeah, I think she's gonna be okay and have oh. kind of a green tail in the end. And uh, yeah, most, uh, what is it, a trio? The trio in here, we, so a male and two females we purchased, right? I believe Or was it so. a male and a female? I think we got a male and a female first okay. and then somebody and dropped the off. two females are surrenders. Yes. Yeah, and we have room for more too. So if we get more girls after a quarantine period, we'll probably just add them in here because yeah. they seem to get along great. And they're out. And they're out, All yeah. the time. Yeah, people, they stick their heads out of the cork. There's always one on the front and one on the vine. They're they great display animals. On the glass. Always, Which of is course. wonderful mm -hmm. for our staff. 
up. <laughs> we don't clean that up. <laughs> Our staff loves cleaning up their poop. And they seem to be doing so well that they have been laying eggs regularly. Yes. And today, which is January, or sorry, February 19th, the first baby has hatched. Which is crazy because it was found on 120. Yeah, is it normal for them to only take like three, yeah, three weeks? Okay, a month, four weeks, four weeks maybe to Maybe it wasn't found in there right away. Maybe, I don't know, but yeah. it just seems so quick. Are we ready for this moment? I think we are. The first ever baby day gecko born at Snake Discovery. He is adorable, three. he or she. Yeah, three, two, one. <gasps> oh my oh, gosh. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Oh my gosh, he's not even as vibrant as he was earlier today. I wonder if he's like waking up or falling asleep. I love asleep. his red tail. Yes! With those stripes. And the little spots on his back. And his big eyeballs. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I'm hoping the second one hatches out. Yeah, there's two there's eggs two in eggs. here. He hatched from that one. That this one? Right okay, now, yeah. so this one still needs to hatch. Yep. Little eggy, you need to hatch. Please hatch tonight. That'd be amazing. Oh, he's so my cute. My God, he is a derber. Should I try to take him out? Do you think he'll go crazy? Probably. You've got to be somewhat friendly and oblivious to the world, right? I mean, Come we've here. seen their parents. Oh my gosh, don't freak out, I wanna hold you. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm holding him. Oh, he is so stinking cute. Holy cow, dude, I love you so much. I'm not gonna be able to hold you ever again. Nope. Cause you guys are crazy. I mean, in all fairness, we did see the person at Tinley who trained one. Oh, that's true. So they are trainable they with food. They can be socialized. Yes. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, but so there's a possibility. But most likely, he's never gonna be held again. They have <laughs> such a big head. Yeah, they do. And you're right, just like the red tip to the tail. Right there. Oh, come We here. don't need to lose him. I got him, I got okay. him, okay. You're fine, you're fine, you're okay, dude. All right. I won't touch your tail, I'm sorry. He but doesn't look, like his tail being touched. He does not want his tail touched. You're okay, you're right. I like how they jump with no regard to their life. Yeah, and the tough part with day geckos is they slough their skin. Yes. So if you touch them with your hand, their skin will, or their scales will literally just slide right off. Yep. And they will regrow the scales. We actually, the female right here on the vine I'll has- I'll you, you can see right on her side where she got, somebody grabbed her and two pieces there like, Right there and right there. Sloughed off. Sloughed off. And they're kind of different growing. They look a little different, but I mean, they're still doing their job. They're protecting her. And... Yeah. You know what a weird defense mechanism though, just yeah. to slide your scales off. I mean, you don't just rip your skin off when somebody it's touches so you. It's so weird. It's like muscle underneath. So yeah. strange. Why would they do that? Oh, look at the baby. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Gosh, I'm still caking over how cute you are. Oh my goodness. Okay, well I think what we might do is we're gonna end it here for now and we're actually gonna come back tomorrow and see if that second egg has hatched. If not, then we still have one cute baby. If yep. so, then we'll have two. Yeah, and we also have two more eggs in incubation right now. We do, they keep laying them, so yep. we're gonna keep hatching them. All right, we're back. Here it's is day the, two. Yes, here's the new little habitat I made for the baby. Yeah. Yeah, I whipped together some Snake Discovery Awesome Mix, threw in some springtails. I should add some isopods, but I think we're just gonna like sell them in this. Probably. When we sell them, I don't wanna have to catch them from anything. Yes. Or have an employee catch them. Exactly. Him, so he's gonna go home in this. Should we see how he's doing? Yeah, let's see if his uh, sibling hatched. Uh, oh, no, just him. No, just the cutie. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. He's even cuter today. I didn't know that was possible. Hi, can you come here? Oh my gosh. Ah! And he hit the floor again. No. I got See, him. and this is why we didn't want to do that when we're trying to sell them. Exactly. You're going to live in here for a little while. Oh, there you go. Check it out. He's like, oh, ew, a leaf. Climb oh. up. Oh. Aw. <laughs> He's climbing. Good job, dude. We're so proud of you. All right, before he escapes again. We're gonna put this lid on. Lock it down, there. There, okay. He, he can't is, get out. He is safe. Hooray. So the other egg hasn't hatched by the looks of it. Do you think we should cut it open? I sure. Mean, they were laid at the same time. Yeah, they were, so, and they were next to each other, sharing the, you know, they were connected even, so mm -hmm. they were passing the heat between each other. Right, so the other baby, if he's still alive, should be ready to go and yes. might need help. So we're gonna cut this egg open. Do you have scissors? <laughs> Just cutting <laughs> it open with scissors? Yeah. You found a razor blade? Yep, we're going to, oh wow, these are like really calcified oh, weird. eggs. Maybe that's not a good sign. Let's see, I'm assuming, oh, oh. Oh. Is there a baby in here? There's something in there, but it oh. looks like it's that Weird, there is a baby. Okay, I don't think you're fully developed though. Oh my gosh, it moved! Okay. Whoa! Um, uh, well, I'll just 
Do I? I'll just put you back together. I mean, here, just mist that down. Okay. A lot, and then we'll set him in there. Oh, weird. That was not what I was expecting to happen there. <laughs> Me neither. Yeah, so we'll mist that down a lot so he doesn't lose humidity. Okay. And then we'll just set him back in there. Okay, I guess we're going to continue this video until we figure out what's going to happen with this little baby. Yeah. Aw, okay. Well, there you go. Come on out when you're ready. Yep. Huh. Should I cover him back up with this so uh, it holds in the moisture a bit? I mean, there's a lot of moisture around it, so I'm assuming that Yeah. maybe set a little bit. Yeah, yeah. just to be safe. We're just going to close you back up. Now it's definitely open, though. Yeah, now he can definitely get out. Yeah. Okay, weird. All right, there we go. I guess we'll check back in on Wednesday. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, it's been two days, so yep. he should be out. Yeah, if he's alive, he should be out. I see a tail. Do you? Yeah. Oh. Oh, uh, are you? Aw. Oh, he came out and then he died. Sad. Oh, it I'm... looks like he's twisted. Yeah, well, if he didn't come out of his egg on his own, there were probably some issues with him. Poor little yeah. dude. Aww. That's weird, he like fully developed. Yeah, he did. And he actually made it out of his egg and like crawled around a bit, but okay, didn't make it. Well, that's all right. It sometimes happens. We have one stinking cute yeah, little day gecko, so we're gonna exactly. focus on that. So thanks for watching today's miscellaneous babies born or hatched at Snake Discovery. Um, again, this is just babies that didn't make it in another video. So yeah. now they're in their own video. Exactly, just they sharing. get a whole baby video together. Yes. So thanks for watching, guys. Thank you, Patreon backers, for your amazing support, and we'll see you next time.